I was actually competing against 27 of the best web designers from right around the world. Competitors looked at the competition from all angles. Some were a little too friendly. If you need a business card, which you will, please make sure you get in contact with me. Compared to those sitting in the corner with their headsets on, ignoring the world going on by them. I was somewhere in the middle, but at the same time scared out of my wits. Thankfully for me, each competitor is mentored by an industry expert who is also at the same time part of the international judging panel. I had a man by the name of David Samuel. He was my coach and he helped me to prepare for the international competition. His guidance was invaluable. This guidance played a large part as to why I was so successful at the competition. As I mentioned, I was fortunate enough to receive gold medal in web design and at the same time, best of the nation, which basically means scoring the highest points out of all Australian competitors in any trade. On arrival home, seven of the medal winning competitors had a meeting group with then Prime Minister John Howard. This again made me realise that I achieved this success not just for myself on a personal level, but for my country. After my success at World Skills, I was asked to teach part time at TAFE New South Wales. In an ironic twist, this meant my two passions could now be combined teaching and design. I've now had the pleasure in sharing my knowledge with over 250 students. I've been pretty fortunate. I love teaching and it's meant that I can now get back to a profession that has given me so much over the years. I'm actually now teaching in the very same classrooms that I was taught in only a number of years beforehand. Another welcome opportunity arose following my success. The CEO of Wall Schools International asked if I'd like to be part of the secretariat team helping to organise the next international competition in Shizuoka, Japan. I now had the opportunity to see the competition from the other side. I was now helping over 900 competitors from right around the world realise their dreams. Following on from my role as International Secretary, I was invited to Austria last year to facilitate the World Schools International Youth Forum. This forum provides past competition winners with a platform to express their recommendations and ideas to the International Board to help improve the competition in the future years. In 2007, on the back of my world school success, I launched my own company, Jala Design. I've helped many companies, those that have started as just a concept or idea, right through to those on an international level. The experience of having my own company has enabled me to expand and utilise all of the skills that I've handled on my journey. In September this year, I will again be representing Australia, not as a competitor, but this time as the world school's Australian expert, going to Calgary, Canada, part of Team Australia 2009. And I strongly recommend if you get a chance over the next day or two to pop downstairs and view the eight competitors that are actually coming to this venue to help their training. From humble beginnings, my journey has gone full circle. When I started my, when I left school, I never imagined that my trade would take me out of the state, let alone country. I've gone from employee to employer, student to teacher, and competitor to expert. I look back and winning a gold medal was incredible, but it was only the start of what is and what will be a lifelong journey. Thank you for your time.